let's spend just a second talking about how you're going to show how to fill in the numbers chart when you're in a Google slide. So the first thing you're going to do is come up to this um, little thing up here that it looks like a line. It's your line tool. You're going to click it. And then all you're going to do is draw your line. So for example, for 41 hundredths, we're going to draw a line. Now you have a couple options here. If you go up to your tools up here, you can see a pencil drawing on a line. That's going to be your line color. So I might make my first one blue. Then you have line weight. I like to make mine at about eight. You could go up to 12. That's up to you. So this is what your first line should look like. It doesn't matter if it's super straight or not. Doesn't matter. So then we're going to hit control C for copy. Control V to paste it. And you have oh, another line right next to it that you can put where you need. I mean, just do the same thing. We hit control V. Here's another line. So that gives me three. Now I've got four. Now for the last one, it's only one. So I'm going to push my line there and I'm going to make it super short. And that's how I show 41 hundredths. Now I could do it again. Copy and paste my line and I might change the color and say, OK, now let's have a pink line. That shows nine. There's 19, 29, 39. Oh, let's make that one a little bit longer so you can really tell. And then last but not least, we know we need to do 40, 41. So that's how you're going to color in your boxes using Google Slides. You're going to use the line tool. And once you have the line tool, you're going to format it using the color option and the weight. Uh, you don't need to worry about making it dashed because for this, it's important that it's a solid line. If you have any questions, please let me know. But that's how you're going to format your lines.